What is up everyone? Today I wanted to do something a little different because I keep getting asked so many questions. Like my inbox is getting so full. It would be better if people did comment on the YouTube because then there's other people who've been doing this much longer than me um, that would know even more information. But I can just speak from experience after these like three months or whatever it's been of what is going on like the one of the main questions I keep getting is you know because a lot of people drive for companies and stuff of that nature and don't have that free will some do I don't know exactly but I've heard people people have reached out and said oh I drive for a company and it's just I'm on call and this and that like so a lot of people keep asking me how much do you make in a cargo van because it's a little different um and then as in terms from a sprinter van because I know there's less opportunity but so far with just you know grinding it, it has been good um now a little background i know a lot of you if you have been watching my stuff i've came from nothing but i got up to the point where i had my cdl i was making 24 an hour at 55 hours a week you know netting 1200 a week just to give you a baseline now with this this is completely different like through the growing pains of me and my wife trying the whole like going out a week staying home a week doing local regional just every other like you know we've been just slowly morphing into where now what our plan is to just go out hit our goal of 1200 a week and then start heading back home and then stay home three days but the reason but not anything is in stone you know that's why like the reason i did it was be for that reason was just to be flexible to because being your own boss like i didn't want to sign on to any companies um i would have just went back to cdl work if that was the case i would have sold my band and went back so for me it was all go it was go 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 i want to be my own boss because th there's been times where i just come home for days and days just because i want to um but th to, to get to the point because i don't want to ramble too much because as you guys know if you've seen my videos i can get going but a lot of people say how much can you make because a lot of people say i want to get my own authority i want to do this i want to have that freedom i'm in my 16 year old's room because it's the only quiet place um okay for instance we made in six days one time 2700 dollars right then we went out again for about six days netted 15 to 1600 i can't remember i think it was like 1500 so that's the thing is it's so you know random that you never know but i mean still though it's been more than worth it um because i'm still making more than what i was making and that's profit i'm not talking i'm talking about gas and then we do weekly out of it for the taxes because our taxes are 50 or 530 a month um but that was a big reason why I wanted to do this video. Uh, I know a lot of people do these talking videos, but I, I haven't done them much. But because I want to take people on journeys so they can see if they would like this. But also, you got to think about, you know, for me, the freedom is what I wanted. I didn't want anyone telling me what to do anymore. I was done. I finally had enough. I finally made that step. I didn't, I didn't live in fear and I just went for it. I was just, I was just done. Every job I've been to. So, and the reason I say that is because you have to weigh is the money, you know, that you're making worth it because also this is not built for everybody. You know, I do got four kids and a wife. So me, I'm big on my home time. Like I do go out, you know, a week and then I come home a couple days, three days, you know, get refreshed, go back out. Uh, sometimes just say, oh, I just want local regional. Let's just look for those. Um, so that's what I'm saying. It depends on the person too. But so in terms of the financial aspect, yes, you can make good money. Like I'm already making more, even when I go out and don't have as successful of a week, I made 1500 profit. And then that other time I made 2,700. And then other times, yeah, like it's like 1700 when I go out for a week. So that's, that's what I'm saying is it's, um, it all depends on your perception of what you want it to be. But my nephew, for example, He's 19, he's getting out of the army. He had a situation go on there. Um, he got injured and he gets to come home and uh, he is going to go for this. You know, he's gonna save his money like I say, cause a lot of people ask that question too. Should I, should I get a loan? But that's just my opinion. I just, you know, coming from nothing, I never want to be in debt to something. Like I just don't care. It's just the way me and my wife are. So he's 19, he wants to get out and yeah, he'll buy one you know save up buy one um now him being 19 and he loves you know fishing hunting traveling you know 
He's looking at it as that type of an opportunity because he has no kids, no nothing. Like he would just, he says, you know, um, and being a, a, can, a hunter, and that's why I mean everyone's built different. I can shut off my brain when I go out because as you guys know, if you've heard any, uh, when I talk, I've been through a lot. I've been to prison, I've been to this. So I can shut off my mind of like, this is my reality, you know, and I will get home to my family and it'll be enjoyable just like there sort of what I equate it to. The first time I went out, it was weird, but going back to my nephew, that's why I'm saying the, it, it's endless. If you, it depends on the person. So like him, he's saying he just wants to go out for like two, three weeks. He would, he would bang. Cause you'll have some of those weeks that are 2,700 profit. You'll have some of those weeks that are 1,500 profit. You'll have some of those weeks that are, you know, 1,200, like if it's not as good of a week, but that's what I'm saying. So it's very, a very broad question. Cause like, it is profitable. Like, you know, when people joke about it or think it's a joke, um, I have a couple trolls on my YouTube that I highly enjoy. I always tell them, like today he went in and I said, I miss you, man. Um, Cause they think it's a joke for some reason. It's like, it's not a joke. And it is actually needed because a lot of these logistics teams need, cause they're not gonna put one pallet on a big rig. There's just no point. So like, and I have my CDL. I actually had another guy who was talking on there who has a CDL and he was saying like, I don't understand why people who have their CDL hate on this. And I said the same thing. I said, I don't understand it because because me and him both have ours. And like mine would be a backup plan. But he was just saying, yeah, I've always wanted to do this. And I'm, I've been a trucker forever. Like he's like, it's cool. Like it's it's the risk reward is well worth it to me. That's why I went the cargo van route. I mean, I, I could have bought the 40,000 Sprinter van, but that would have been all the money that we have accumulated over, you know, the eight years that we've been doing this. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to put this one out because I've had that question over and over. How much can you make? I'm debating, like a lot of them are like, I'm debating uh, leaving driving for this company. How much can I make? How much can I make if I get my own uh, authority, this, that, and the other? And that's the thing though, there is more pressure on you. You would need a goose, or what is it called? What do they call it? Where you got a goose egg or whatever, you know what I mean? Like a nest, you gotta have money though to, and that's why I tell people to save up and then save up your um, secured blanket, whatever, if anything, any damages happen to the van, then you have that. So like, if you're gonna be an owner operator and have your own authority, I would say you need to save up to buy it. it. But you can do the least thing. I know people do that. I'm not saying not to, I'm just saying that's just my personal opinion and experience from what I've seen is that you need to be financially secure to where like, if things go wrong, yeah, you can just fix them. And that's why I would say I came from nothing like in recovery and I came from nothing sleeping in car, being homeless. So like, if you're thinking, oh, well, he could just, he's financially secure. It wasn't like that before. So that's my 16 year old. We got to go get um, dinner right now. So anyways, I hope this helped and answered some of those questions because I get asked that all the time and everyone comment below and people who are more experienced comment below because I want to learn more and then people can help each other and learn and that's the whole point of this. Thanks for watching.